Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to do an acrylic overlay on my natural nails. So I'm gonna hop right on into it. My nails have been filed, shaped and buffed. I just got through lightly buffing the surface of the nail um, for better adhesion. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my young nail swipe to remove the dust and debris and dirt from my nails. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Protein Bond Primer. I am planning on keeping these nails on for a little while and just doing sets over top of this. And so I'm gonna use my Protein Bond to make sure I get some really good adhesion. And I'm gonna apply that to all of the nails. I'm gonna go in with two layers of this. Okay, so now that my Protein Bond has been applied, I am gonna be going in with a new nude acrylic that I have. I actually purchased this from a local nail supply store and it is from Not Polish. I have it in the color Touch of Lips. And so I thought this was a really pretty nude. I did want to purchase Nude Panther, but I felt like it was a bit too bright. And y'all, I know it looks like half of the container is gone. Um, that's because my daughter, she actually got the powder while I was prepping my nails and spilled half of it. I was so devastated, y'all. But you know, it happens. We just gonna keep it moving. But this is what the color looks like. It is a really beautiful nude, okay? And this right here is the powder that my daughter spilled out. I tried to salvage what I could. What I'm gonna end up doing with this is maybe trying to make some acrylic charms or something. So yeah, I'm not gonna throw it away because like this stuff is expensive. But yeah, anywho, so I'm gonna go in with my touch of lips. I'm gonna use my uh, Young Nails Monomer as well as this beautiful Melody Susie number 10 brush. And yeah, y'all, let's get to it. I can already see the difference in how much monomer this brush holds compared to my older brushes. Like, you see how much monomer is still sitting in this brush? That's really awesome. That's gonna make it easy to pick up beads, larger beads and smaller beads. So, yeah, I'm excited to work with this. All right, y'all, so I am gonna, you know, bring it back to the basics like I always do in every video. To pick up a bead of acrylic, you wanna saturate your brush in your monomer tap off to the side once. I'm gonna actually tap off twice this time around since I'm working on my natural nail. I don't wanna have too much acrylic on here. And then I'm gonna bounce into the powder three times. One, two, three. This is how that powder sets up. Really nice and beautiful. Okay, and then on my natural nail here, I'm just gonna set the bead down. I'm gonna set it down here um, in the middle of the nail. And then I'm gonna tilt my nail down and just kinda let the powder does do the work for me. Okay, and then swipe down, swipe down, swipe down. And then, oh, I think that's really all I need. <clears throat> I think that's really all I need for this nail, actually. And then we're gonna pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Really nice. I'm gonna try to help shape it here. Actually, I don't even need that much. So that's what I have so far. I do think this brush is probably too big for what I'm trying to use it for, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. Because I've seen people do this with, with bigger brushes, you know. So I'm going in with really, really small beads now and working it towards that cuticle area. Like so. Okay, happy people. I was really struggling with this brush simply because it held more monomer than what I was used to and so my beads were very runny which caused the acrylic to get into um, the cuticle area and the sidewalls. I will say that this brush was really great for cleaning up those areas um, so I was happy about that but I needed to um, get my powder to liquid ratio down um, and that's what you guys see me trying to do here. This is what the first nail is looking like. Not looking too hot, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. That mug a little lumpy and bumpy, but I'm hoping that we can fix that with filing. But we're gonna try to do better with this next nail. And actually, while I'm uh, doing this, I kinda wanna just practice picking up beads with this brush because I feel like that bead I picked up was a bit too big. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna actually just use this little powder that my, my daughter spilt and just, you know, practice with that. So I'm gonna just take my brush and tap it once to the side and see how big it picks up a bead. So yeah, this is how big of a bead and an acrylic that that picks up. So I think that'll be too big for what I'm trying to do on my nails, right? So I'm gonna just let that swatch here. And this nude is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Love it. So let me try that again. This time I'm gonna tap two, three times and then see what size of bead I pick up. That's what it looks like. Still. A little bit of a bigger bead, but I think 
kind of more so what I want. So I'm gonna set that down. So you see how it's kind of getting a little bit smaller. Let's see if I bring this over to the center here. So this time I'm gonna go in and tap off five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna bounce one, two, three, and see the bead here. I think this is the size bead that I need, okay? And then set down. Yeah, that's five times. Let's do eight. Eight. One, two, three. And then this picks up an even smaller bead. I really like how this brush picks up beads, that was really nice. Like so. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my hand at this middle finger here. And I'm gonna go in with tapping off eight times, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Bounce three times, one, two, three. Picked up a nice bead here. I'm gonna set this bead down at the cuticle so that I don't have to worry about trying to get close to the cuticle later. So like so, and just bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, and then swipe down, swipe down, swipe down. Okay, I think that was like the perfect application. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay, so then I guess I don't really know how to get it from my free edge because because my nails are so short. I think I'm gonna just take this tool here and just kind of remove it like that, like so. Yeah, okay. Y'all, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm over here struggling. As y'all can see, I had a lot going on in this video. My daughter spilled the acrylic before I even had a chance to use it. There was hair in it as I was doing my swatches. There's airplanes flying in the background. So yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle bus. I didn't even know how to remove the acrylic from my free edge because my nails were so short, but I'm trying to figure it out here with you guys. So yeah, this is how the second nail turned out. That's what the second nail looks like. I feel like the second nail turned out a little bit better. So I'm gonna go in again, saturate my brush. Okay, do eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then bounce three times, one, two, three, pick up. This is how it sets up on the brush. Okay, and then next on this ring finger here, like I said, I'm gonna set it down close to the cuticle, like so. Okay, and then pull back, push back, push back. Yeah, this brush is really good with making sure you get it nice and tight to that cuticle which I really like and if you need to you can go around that cuticle area and clean it up oh, that's too much more on here like so I think I waited too long I am noticing a little bit of marbling with this acrylic but I also didn't stir it up very well, so that could be my fault. Yeah, y'all, so on this nail, I had waited too long to try and maneuver the acrylic, so it had already kind of set in place, so that was me trying to still shape it, but I really wasn't able to move it too much. Not so hot, but it's there. Yeah, there's really bad marbling with that. That makes me sad. All right, let me try this pinky finger here. Oh, it's too wet. Y'all, when I say the struggle was real with trying to film this video and do this set, so this pinky nail actually turned out perfectly, but unfortunately my camera was out of focus, so you couldn't even see how great I applied this particular nail. You all will see it after I apply my thumb, but yeah, this one actually turned out really good. So I thought I had finally had the liquid to powder ratio down, but on this particular nail, I think I let it sit on the brush too long before I started trying to maneuver the acrylic. And so I ended up removing it from the nail. It seemed like the acrylic was sitting on top of the nail and didn't actually bond to the natural nail. So here I am going in with my second attempt at the thumbnail. And um, I tried to just release the bead 
from the brush and then work that cuticle area first and after I felt like I got the acrylic close enough to the cuticle to where it wasn't touching it I went ahead and just used the body of the brush to smooth it down and cleaning any uh, excess acrylic that might have gotten on the cuticle or sidewall area with the brush um, again I let it set there on the brush for a little bit just to try to make sure it wasn't too runny because again I really wasn't used to having a brush that held that much monomer but the thumbnail overall ended up turning out perfectly i'm just doing some more small beads around the cuticle area just to make sure everything is nice tight and right and yeah i was really happy with how that nail turned out So after my acrylic application, I normally dispose of this right now to try to help get rid of the smell. But before I do that, I do clean my brush. I just want to show you guys really quick how I clean my brush. I just saturate it in a little bit of monomer, okay? And then I'll just set it down and with like a straight edge. I don't normally use my cuticle pusher, but I can't find it. You just go through and just lightly get all the acrylic out of the brush. As you all can see, there is no acrylic left in this brush at all. Another thing you can do is like move the bristles like this to get any extra acrylic out. As you all see, nothing is coming out. So yeah, this is a really nice brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mold it into the shape that I like. Okay, like so. And then it's good to go for the next use. This is what the nails are looking like after application. I mean, it's my first time doing an acrylic overlay on my natural nails. I will say it, feel, it felt weird doing that because I'm used to working with acrylic on longer nails, but I think it looks okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and file shape and buff the nails and um, I'll be right back. But I think this color is really pretty though. When filing my nails, especially acrylic nails, I love using my 501 carbide bit. I feel like it's really good at getting close to the cuticles. Um, so right now I'm filing my nails at 7,000 RPM. And um, you all just wanna be really careful when you're filing close to that cuticle area. I did actually nick myself a few times and actually drilled off a little bit of my skin um, while I was uh, filing and shaping my nails. Um, so yeah, you just wanna make sure you go through and do that debulk it, help smooth it out to give it a nice structure. And so now I'm going in with my nail file. I really enjoy using the files from Young Nails. I just feel like they're really good and really strong. With the file, you see me now crispening the edges just to try to keep the shape of the nail um, nice and neat. And um, once you're done with the filing, you'll wanna go in with a buffer just to smooth out the surface of the nail. So overall, working with the not polished acrylic was um, pretty beginner friendly. I do think that the acrylic is nice, it's smooth, and it self levels. The only thing I didn't like about it was that there was a little bit of marbling. This is what the nails look like after they've been filed, shaped, and buff. I'm really liking how this nude is looking against my skin tone. Before I go on with top coat, I did notice that there's like some little specks or white dots in the acrylic, but it only happened on my thumb and on my uh, middle finger. On the rest of the fingers, you can't really tell. Over here too, where I had a little bit of that marbling, um, you know, I, it is still coming through on the tip here, so. Yeah, just wanted to point that out. So yeah, I am gonna go ahead and go in with my top coat from Beatles. This is one of my favorite top coats and apply it to all the nails and then we'll get into the finished look. And I recently got this little nifty geometric shape from Shein and I really like it. I do have a haul coming soon about it. I bought this for the purposes of it being like a nail stand. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Okay, happy people, as I'm applying my top coat, I just wanna give you all a friendly reminder that there is a giveaway currently going on on my channel. So definitely feel free to enter if you would like. So I wasn't able to capture my catchphrase like I wanted to because my voice was still really hoarse. So I'm going to do it now. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? It feels so good to have my voice back, okay? <laughs> Look at how cute these turned out. They are really, really nice, really simple, really cute, nude, you know, a nice basic everyday set. I will say that I am a big fan of this Melody Susie brush. It worked very well with my acrylic application. It was a little bit bigger for me um, with wanting to do an overlay over my natural nails, but I think if I wanted to scope extra, extra long nails, I would have absolutely no issue with doing so. And so, yeah, I do recommend this brush with this not polished acrylic. I did have some marbling with it, which actually shocked and surprised me so maybe I just didn't like mix it up enough or something I'm not really sure 
Um, and then I did notice that it had those little tiny like specks in it. Don't know if you guys can see that. And then there's also, you can see the marbling on the nail here. So um, next time I'll try to like, you know, mix it up a little bit better. I'm just hoping I didn't mix it well or something like that because it'd be unfortunate if they marble because I do plan on getting their mystery box this year. So yeah, y'all. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, Definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!